great win for our program. And I've got uh, I've got the utmost respect for Coach Montgomery. Uh, I've gotten to know him over the course of the last three or four years, and uh, just really admire the way he operates his program and runs his program. We brought an Iowa State here team, a team here four or five years ago, and uh, got it handed to us. Uh, but our, our guys competed tonight, defensively especially. Our goal going coming in was to hold Cobbs and, and Crab under 50% shooting, and I, I just thought our uh, I thought our perimeter defenders, except for that little stretch late in the first half, uh, where Justin got going, I thought we, we kept him in check. And uh, you can only do so much with guys like that; they're really talented. Uh, but uh, it's really proud of our defense, and then offensively, obviously, uh, Doug had another special performance. He's scoring in a lot of ways, and then the second half, I thought we got some contributions from some other places. Uh, Greg Grinchinike was much more active in the second half. Grant Gibson a couple big threes. Uh, Joe Hans knocked a couple down as well. So uh, you know, we didn't certainly play our best offensively, but a lot of that had to do with Cal. Questions? <clears throat> Doug, can you talk a little bit about that nine-point stretch you hit him with, with three straight threes? Yeah, that was huge. Um, we had a set play there to start. Got it going, and then they were second off Grant all game. So uh, we told him just to fire one up, and uh, luckily he hit a few. And then it's good to see Johannes get it uh, back rolling uh, tonight because we need him uh, to step up with, uh, with Josh Howe. So uh, I thought that was he had a really good uh, game offensively and defensively tonight. Uh, I guess talk a little bit about the defensive effort. Yeah, it was huge. Uh, like I said. Uh, our main focus was Cobb uh, and Crab, and we did a good job on them. Uh, got them frustrated early. Um, Cobb's had a really good game, but we held Crab in check, and that was that was our main goal. So uh, it, was, it was good uh, the whole the whole way through. Now, do you typically have this many different people try to defend you in a game? It looked like four or five different guys took turns on you. Yeah, I mean I'm kind of used to that by now. Uh, teams have shown a lot of different stuff. Uh, Tonight they kind of sagged off Grant and Austin a little and tried to let them beat us, but we just found other ways to score. We're really good at moving without the ball, and uh, we score a lot in transition. So we just, whatever they uh, are throwing at us, um, we have a counter to, so it's, it's been good all year. Did you get a sense that you were taking Crab out of his comfort zone? I mean, he, he looked a little frustrated at times uh, with a hand in his face and pressure. On yeah, him. absolutely. And, uh, I mean, Got to credit Jahans and Avery. Um, they did a great job on him all night. And uh, it's not just them. It's the guys that are off the ball, too, bluffing at him, getting him frustrated. So he's a really good player. Um, he's got a great future. Got a lot of respect for him. Uh, but we did a good job of locking, locking him down. We don't see you every every night. I mean, are you used to having 12, 15 NBA scouts going every night? Is the way I mean, uh, it's picked up a little, but uh, I mean, I, I try not to worry about that. Don't even notice that they're there. I'm trying to go out and do what I can to impact this team and try to win every night. So that's, that's how it's working. Coach, was, uh, was, was it Jurens? Jurens. Jurens. Is he your, your best defender? Or was he you know, play? we've got an interesting team, you know, because you know, Doug's our best scorer. Gregory's our best interior defender. Austin's our best defender on the dribble. Jurens is our best defender in terms of chasing screens and avoiding screens. And then Grant's kind of our, he's the old man on the team that plays kind of like an old man. Uh, and then we've got some contributions off the bench. So I'm just blessed to be coaching a group of guys that understands who they are and plays to their strengths. And uh, and I told Giants before the game, I, I don't think that, uh, I don't think the crab has seen a guy that's willing to chase as consistently as you're willing to do it. Uh, and uh, I thought Giants, uh, had an unbelievable game and forced him into some small balance shots. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks.